Hi there, today we want to show you quickly around the new filtration system, uh, water stop technology that we've got on the new Anton Sprint Pro. So what we're going to do today is quite a severe test to prove to you just how good this uh, system is. So we're going to start the analyzer up. Now I'm literally going to put the flu Pro into the water. And if I hold that up and you Watch that, you'll see the water go up, up into the top section, hit the first PTFE filter that we've got, and it will stop it dead. And you'll see on there, blockage detected, check probe, water trap and filters. So if I take that, disconnect that now from the analyzer, press escape, you'll see that the analyzer's been protected, no moisture gone into it at all, and that's up and running, no problem. So what we're going to do now is we're going to blow this, um, blow this back out and show you. So if you're on site, uh, how quickly you can get back up and running. So let's blow that, blow the line through. Obviously, it's very unusual to get quite this wet, but it will give you an idea. So that simply can be poured out. And that bottom section is designed for exactly that to capture all the moisture. So we'll give that a dry out. Just blow that last bit out. Now, nor normally and before on this Sprint V and the Sprint Evos, we've had paper filters. Uh, now, paper filters, although they've been uh, they've been used for many years and they're still used by many uh, flue gas analysis companies. Um, We've now swapped over for a foam filter. And the reason being, we can just squeeze it out now, get all the moisture out of there, dry that off, and now we can reuse it when traditional paper filters, if they were so soaking wet and you've only got one on you, um, we're gonna to struggle to get you back up and running when you're on site. So if we give that a quick dry out, I've got the PTFE filter there that we take out, just blow that through. And then in the top section of the filter bowl, that just pushes back down. Then you've got your holder for your particulate filter, that pops back on there, that sits down there and just locates into there. Pop that back together. And you'll notice the whole design of the, the, the filter bowl has, has been reconsidered. So we've made this out of um, the same materials that are used for crash helmets. So it's very robust and the central nut, if you like, is, is designed so it acts as a bumper if the filter bowl is dropped. Um, so we expect these to last a great deal longer. Um, now we haven't just got PTFE filter here, we've got PTFE filter up here as well in the, in, in, in the new clicking connector. Um, which also uh, acts as a secondary backup because we, what we're trying to achieve here or what we have achieved here is that there's no moisture getting from this uh, filter bowl area into your analyzer. So now if I pop that back on there and click that in okay, and then we've got a new uh, clip on here which is to hold your thermocouple wire plug your thermocouple back in which we don't really need for this test but that's how it looks Start the analyzer back up again, and we're back up and running. So what we expect this to do is to save a lot of unscheduled returns because a, a, a lot of problems when we get analyzers back early is because um, the filter bowls haven't been emptied, um, and unfortunately customers get water into their pump, um, and it causes downtime and, uh, and frustration. Thanks very much. Uh, more videos to follow.